Alright, hello everyone, my name is X and I have an itchy forehead and it's gone now. Welcome to a new Let's Play called Richard and Alice. Now I found this game on Steam. It's apparently a point and click adventure indie game. It's not scary like Five Nights at Freddy's. No, it's not like that. It's just an adventure indie game. There's some smudge on my webcam. But yeah, it looked really interesting and it is different from everything I've done before, I think. So yeah, let's just give it a go, right? Click. Walk. So yeah, point and click. The story is about uh, Richard and Alice are both prisoners. They live in their cells, which both have a sofa and a state-of-the-art computer. And only Richard's prison room cell thing has a TV. And outside it's snowing, like you can see right now. It's snowing everywhere. It's snowing again? Oh man. Click. What's wrong with that, son? Wow, that's a small ass house. The last lot's barely melted yet. I'm fed up of the snow. Every time it's the same. It's cold, it's wet, and everything comes to a standstill. It just makes me feel miserable, Dad. Rich, listen to me. Remember what I always used to say? Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> oh, Dad, not now. Haha, uh -huh, alright, but you know. Dad, come on. Hmm, what's really the problem, son? You used to love the snow. I was a kid back then. I guess I've just grown up. It doesn't feel magical anymore. Psh, what nonsense. It still feels magical to me. And I'm twice your age. Three times, Dad. Maybe even four. Ha, the cheek. You don't want to grow up too quickly, son. Trust me. One day, a time will come when you have no choice but to grow up. And you'll miss days like this. The magic, the snow, snowmen, antlers, rural red-nosed reindeer. Go enjoy it, I say. Dad. Yup. You can be a right sap sometimes. Ha, <laughs> perhaps. But okay, the snow is great fun. I cannot wait to build a snowman. Happy now? Very. I don't think I can see that smirk on your face too, mister. Now go on, give your friends a call and go out and play. It's snowing. Do you guys like snow? Does it even snow in your country? What? All of a sudden we were doused in snow everywhere. Owl Cave presents. A game by Lewis Denby and I spit on my pop filter. Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives the fascinating creature. Which fascinating creature are you talking about? Okay. It is a brown throat sloth, the most widespread and common of the three toed sloths in the area. <laughs> sloth. The sloth sleeps for an incredible 18 hours per day and is active only in few second bursts. Wow, I wish I could sleep 18 hours per day. It's not active at all anymore. Although they can walk along the ground and even swim, they spend most of their lives in the high branches of trees. We're watching National Geographic or something, I don't know. Descending once every eight days or so to defecate in the soil. That's all they ever show on here. Reruns of ancient nature documentaries. It's a very different world on the outside now. Oh well, we're not here to be entertained. Adult animals are solitary, except when raising young. They do not deal well with company. Uh, can we please switch to, I don't know, Comedy Central, Fox... Something more interesting. Males have been observed to fight one another using their four claws. Is that Alice? Hey. Was that some one in the cell opposite? It's been empty for well for as long as I've been here. <laughs> that walking. Hello. Hello. Busted. Richard and Alice. Ah, oh, nice little intro. Crap, I didn't set my timer. Shit, come on, phone, please work. Yes, there we go. Hi there! Click. 
It's been a while since I've seen another face. How are you? I mean, not great, I assume, since you've just, you know, been locked up. I'm Richard, anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello? Hi. I said I'm Richard. I heard what you said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I mean, I thought I'd say hello. I know I want some company when I first got here, but... Do you want to be left alone? No, sorry, it's okay. Oh my god. Well, like, I say, I'm Richard, and you are? <laughs> Alice. Alice, pleased to meet you, Alice. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> quite a conversionalist, huh? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've spoken to anyone, really. I'll let you get settled any... Now, honestly, it's fine. Sorry, I guess I'm just a bit flustered. That's understandable. So what did you want to talk about? I'm not sure. What's the protocol for meeting new people in prison? Why am I in prison, actually? I'm not used to there being anyone in that cell. The ceiling had collapsed. They only got around to fixing it recently. Should we get to know each other? Alice. So what are you in for? Murder. Um, are you, uh... Serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's what they say. And did you do it? If I told you yes, would you be scared of me? I... I'm not. Relax, there's two sets of bars between us. <laughs> Put it this way, I've learned some things recently. Oh? Yeah, about moral relativity, I suppose you'd call it. What do you mean? Well, since the snow started, things have changed, right? Definitely. There's no denying that. They didn't predict it soon enough. No one was able to bring it under control. It took over, dominated our lives. It changed people, you know, but only because people were forced to adapt. So what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm saying is, I used to think killing was wrong, under all circumstances. But now? If I want to go to McDonald's and I don't have chicken McNuggets, I'll just kill the person. It's normal now. Now I'm not sure what I think anymore. So, do you want to know about me? Perhaps, maybe? Well... Oh, crap, I... Well, I'm Richard, as you know, and, uh... Oh, gosh, what do you want to know? Whatever. Right. What, where to start? Where to start? Well, I was in the military, actually. That's why I'm here. I broke some rules, shall we say. I mean, don't get me wrong, I stand by what I did. Those men were petrified. They were heading for certain death. I couldn't bring myself to be... Well, anyway. You've been here for a while then? Organized warfare is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. All the violence that the weather brought with it, more needless wars. These days it's just chaos or so I hear. I just don't believe it needed to happen. Sure, no one dealt with the weather well, I understand that. And I understand that deaths were inevitable, but so much fighting? I don't know. I think being a parent has settled my views on that. You're a parent. Really? Um, sorry, sorry, I just, uh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, go on. So interesting. <laughs> well, that wasn't really, I don't know. I'd do anything to protect my daughter. Have you got kids? Little boy, Barney. That's a nice name, I bet you miss him. He's dead. Yeah, yeah, I do. Getting used to being away from your family is the hardest part. I keep a photo of mine by my bed. Stare at, the, at it every night until I fall asleep. Can I see? Sure, uh, I'll find a way of getting it across to you. Bear with me. Saving. Woo. Television. Uh, wardrobe. Is this my wardrobe? I have a pretty large shell. I think it's here. Let's see. Clean clothes, dirty clothes. I should check these trouser pockets, actually. I can in case something unwanted goes through the wash. Did you check it? Ah! It's my computer login stick. I think this is the photograph over here. My gorgeous family. I'll take this. There's no point in even trying to get the bars open, especially with my bare hands. Can you just walk there, then? Please. Bed. Book, computer, computer. I think I have it. Alice. Hi again. Hey. Can I ask you something? Sure, I guess. Uh. 
outside. What's it like to on the outside at the moment? It's been a while. It's cold. Yeah, haha. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but how is it? Is it any better? Define better. Well, better, less snowy, less civil unrest. What do you think? I'm guessing that's a no. You're guessing correctly. I've seen things you people won't believe. Attack ships on fire of the shoulder of Orion. I watch she beams glitter in the dark near the ten house gate. All these moments will be lost in time, like cuff. Excuse me. Really? Tears in rain. Blade Runner? No. Blade Runner. That's movie. Ah, yes, of course. So you don't want to talk about it then? No, not just yet. Sorry. I want to show my f picture. Can I show it to her? That won't work. Click. Click. Throw it over there? No, it might break or get stuck in the corridor. Okay, so what do I do then? Environmental control units. So I must... Use something. I don't do anything else from the wardrobe. Spare sheet. Spare duvet. <laughs> I like that word. A duvet. Oh, I have a toilet. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even see that. Let's go to the bathroom. So we need to find something like we can push it over to the uh, other cell. Maybe we can wrap it in a blanket or something. Basin. Okay, apparently I would just wash my hands. Cabinets, toothbrush cup, shower, toilets. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can use this duvet. Got my duvet. Spare sheet. Got my spare sheet. Book. I don't feel like reading right now. Maybe later. Okay. I think we have to like fold it into the sheet and then throw it over. Clickety clickety. Wrap it in that and then how would I get it across? I'd be it'd be too bulky to throw through the bars. How about the other one? No, it's too bulky. It's too freaking bulky. Okay, let me actually just log in on my computer. I can't find anything. Now then, I'll just slot this in here and done. We're in. Let's see, a few more notifications here. Let's have a look. Notice, alarm test next Tuesday. Important, ECU safety and security regulations. Super snow busting instrument sale. Notice, change to evening meal time. Submit ticket. Submit what ticket? Alarm test next Tuesday. Attention all inmates, please note that there will be a test of the prison alarm systems this coming Tuesday. The alarm will sound for approximately one minute. Please do not attempt to leave your cell and do not submit a ticket to the guards unless the alarm sounds continues. Well, let's hope it's not at some ludicrous hour of the morning. Not that time means too much down here. Issue safety and security regulations, please note that it is not permitted to attempt to tamper with your corridor's environmental control unit. Recently we have been made aware of inmates attempting to manipulate their corridor system using long instruments to push buttons on the panel. Ow! Oh. I want to do that too, but I want to give the picture. Doing so is dangerous and against prison regulations. If you feel too hot or too cold or feel the air is too dry or too humid, please submit a ticket on your computer. Thank you for your cooperation. This is a weird ass prison. Do you want to beat the snow? Do you want to leave your home and be confident that you'll reach your destination unharmed? Then buy this new set of snow busting instruments, guaranteed to melt snow faster than ordinary flames. Entirely safe. Click here now and buy. Wow, we're even getting spam in our prison now. From this week and onward, we will be adjusting the times at which evening meals are served. Your meal will now be delivered between 6am and 7pm, rather than the later time of 7pm, 8pm. Well, let's hope I'm hungry. Should I submit a ticket? I don't know. There's nothing to submit a ticket about right now. Okay, that'll do. So... It's not bad time. It's not bad time. I need to have something. I need to use something to get the thing across. I don't want to sit. Nah, there's nothing good on today. Tomorrow's Friday, and that's what it's a bit. 
I'll watch some telly tomorrow instead. How do I get this across? Seriously. Give to her. No. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Ow! <laughs> I'm smart. I can use this to get the photo across, but I should push it out into the corridor first. Okay, corridor. Or do I need to do this? Right, let's try this. Grab the sheet at your side. Pull the end into your cell. There we go. Then put the picture on it. I'll put it on the sheet, then you slowly inch it across, okay? Okay. Okay, there we go. Got it. Let's see. This photo, wow. Your partner is beautiful. And your daughter, so adorable. That was taken a while ago now, obviously. Things had started to get bad. But well, we're together. We were together. We were happy, you know. Yeah. No, give it back. Don't get me wrong, we had our ups and downs as a family. I suppose that's always the way, though. My wife and I were separated now. Happened shortly before I came here. We parted on okay terms, but I've no idea where she is now. Or even if she is, I suppose. A lot's changed, but some things stay the same. Families feud, but they come together when the going gets tough. They always seem to have a way of doing that. That's my experience, anyway. It's... <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> sorry, I'm just being stupid. It's not stupid. This is a stressful time for you. I'm sorry for talking so much. No, no, it's not that. It's nice. I just... Looking at your daughter. Ah, your son. Yeah. But he's safe, right? On the outside. We went through so much together. Before I ended up in this fucking place. It still seems so unreal. Wanna talk about it? Oh, I don't know. It's fine if you don't, it's just... Well, I've done enough talking, I'm happy to lend an ear. You're sweet. I don't know, it's blurry. It was a long time ago. For once, things looked to be on the up. I was so stupid. I let myself believe we might be in for some good fortune for a change. What happened? We met this guy, a bit older, maybe mid-fifties. He seemed nice enough. We'd been out in the cold for days after our shadow got ransacked and... Looking back, it was too good to be true. But we were desperate, Barney and me. This guy, is he the one that you... That you... <coughs> no, 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 not him, I fucking wish. So what happened? Well, he took us in. At first he was nice, gave us food, water, shelter. But then, one day, it changed. He said I had something to show me. Lol. Told me to close my eyes, I wish I never had. Dirty man. Next thing I knew, we were in the cellar. The whole place was covered in dust and my head was killing me. Barney was crying. I still don't remember exactly what happened, but we were there for days. It was awful. I didn't know what to do. Barney was being his usual chirpy self. Quickly enough. <laughs> Sounds like a good kid you've got. So what happened? Well, oh, you don't need to know about all this. What are you, my therapist? I don't mind, honestly. If nothing else, it's good to hear another's voice. Well, if you're sure. What? It scared me. We'd been trapped for a while, and one day I just knew we had to get out, right there and then. Stop it. Hey, Barney! Hey ho, hey ho, it's up to work we- Oh, he's singing a different song. La 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 la, la 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 la. I am trapped, but I don't know because I'm a six year old kid. La 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 la. Barney. La 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 la. Yola, yola. Yola la la la. Yola, yola. Yola la 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 la. Barney, what are you doing? I'm singing! Oh, I knew it. La 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 la. Oh shit, I skipped some text. I can hear that, Barney, sweetheart. Can you give it a grasp, please? La 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 la
la la la la la la la la la la la la la I'm a disobedient fucking child. Join in, mommy! La 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 Barney, I really need you to stop now, please, you're... La la la... Barney! But, but, mommy, I was just playing. That's always it, isn't it? You're always just bloody playing. Mommy, you said a bad word. I know, Barney, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? Are you cross with me? Oh, no, sweetheart, it's just... It doesn't matter. Hey, I know a good game to play. Remember the game where we have to be really quiet? Like, shh, oh yes. Do you remember that one? Do you remember why we have to be quiet? Or the Batman will come. Batman! Exactly. That game's fun, right? Well, I think now's the time to play that game. Yay! Shh, Barney, be qu Oh shit. Barney, be really quiet for me, okay? What the hell is all that racket? It, it's nothing, sorry. Don't make me come in there, I will, you know. I'm 55 years old, I will slap your ass. I know, it's alright, I promise. You need to learn to shut him up. Come on, he's just a kid. Hey, I'm five and a half. Barney, shh. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, he's adorable. I've half a mind to come in there anyway, just to see his face. No, no, honestly, we're fine. He was just playing, but he'll be quiet. We don't disturb you anymore. Please, don't kill him. Don't kill my kid. See to it that you don't. And he's gone. Did I make that bad man come? Oh, Barney, it's okay. It isn't your fault. This game isn't fun anymore. I know, sweetheart, I know. Don't worry. We won't have to play for much longer, I promise. Tell you what, let's find you something to play with. Shall we have a look in the big box? Okay, can I get the key? Sure. La 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 Here you go, mommy. Thank you, Barney. Yay! Saving! Okay, in that case, guys, I'm going to end this part here. This is actually pretty fun, you know. It's a lot of talking. Because it's a lot story-wise, you know. I actually think I read that on Steam that it's a lot of talking. But yeah, it's something interesting. And it scared me for some reason. It's not even a horror game, but when it goes static all of a sudden, I'm like, huh, oh god damn it. But yeah, I will be back with more static in Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.